Okay, so I'm back. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that intro vid of competition mode with the eight riders because I know I sure did. Um, <laughs> yeah, I wanted to mention, but I, I didn't get a chance. Um, I didn't want to ruin the intro for you guys by talking, but as you can see, every time you get to a loading screen, it shows you, you know, how to do a certain trick. I think that one showed you how to do a mute grab if I was paying attention. <laughs> Sorry if I wasn't. But yeah, so at least it does that. I, like I said, this game has a learning curve. But anyways, we're in competition mode, and well, I'll introduce the cast. Well, at least the playable cast in competition mode. Okay, this is Yagi. I think he's like Norwegian or something. Well, anyways, um, this is Yagi. He's a pretty good border. Um, there's Jen. He's good for speed. Cindy, who's good at a little bit of everything, and there's Iron, who's good, who's more balanced, who's more balanced. Now, my favorite character is in between Yagi and Iron. I don't know. I I don't know if you guys know this. I doubt it because this is my first um, this is my first you know, let's play quote unquote project. But um, I tend to actually play the female characters a little bit more than the male characters in most video games. But in this game, I do tend to play you know everybody, but I play I especially like playing. Iron and Yagi. Um, so I'll try to explain these stats. Um, some of these stats depend more about jumping, and the other ones depend more about. And when I say jumping, I mean doing tricks. And some of the other ones depend on how you do as far as racing. Jumping actually, um, the stat jump up there actually has to do with both. So like when you're doing a trip, a trick, and say we're using Yagi, well he's gonna jump a lot higher than say Jin, who only has a four for that. Um, and also, um, when you have to jump over a gap, there will be levels with gaps. Sorry to spoil that if you didn't know that. Um, jump, having a high jump actually helps, but you know, if you don't have speed with you, it's kind of going to mess you up. Balance is how well the character can stand after getting hit by a wall. So yes, like if you had, if you use Jin and you got hit by a wall, chance sorry, you're going to fall down. Or if you get hit by an obstacle, you're going to fall down. But like if it was Iron. She would probably hit the wall and ricochet off of it, no problem. Technique is how well you can do jumps. Um, now, I've actually heard complaints about this game ever since it came out that like, sometimes you press a button and it doesn't work. Well, it's true. You have to press the buttons lightly. If not, then you're most likely not going to end up, you know, if you hold it too long, you're not going to be able to do your trick if you have low, lower technique. So it's like the higher your technique is, the less you have to put emphasis on the trick. Um, quickness is how well you can maneuver around obstacles, other people. Um, so yeah, Iron has great quickness. So like, if she sees like, okay, say she um, sees like a boulder or something, she can easily swerve out the way. Whereas Jen, he'd have somewhat of a hard time moving out the way. Power is when you wind a jump, and what I mean by wind a jump is you get ready to jump, you actually have to hold the X button. The better your power is, the faster you'll be able to actually get away with the trick, but because of Jin's technique, it won't seem like, you know, his power is that great. Max speed is when you're tucked, and tucking is when you hold down on the D-pad, but you're not holding X. Tucking actually makes you go faster, and with Jin's max speed, it actually helps because he goes actually... Uh, 10 miles per hour faster while um, Iron only goes like 4 miles per hour faster because her max speed is very low. So those are the stats um, and those stats are to actually help you make judgment on which characters you should play as. Okay so enough of that I decided I'm going to pick Jin and yes he's not good at doing tricks but he's great as far as speed so I'm going to pick him and you can actually change the character's outfit so you know that's pretty cool so I'm just going to pick this outfit I know it looks kind of goofy and doesn't match but none of his clothes match next is the course you're going to be doing white resort and stadium kicker I'll get into those two in a minute um, and usually when I play I go with the board they, they claim they do best at when they're referring to the uh, competition video you probably have to slow it down or something to see but it actually tells you what board everybody does best with Okay, so, and the music's a bit boring. You can't change any competition, but you can change it in other modes. And, let's start. Okay, so 
so big air this is big air and the first stage is called big air where you actually have to do a trick and this is stadium kicker and okay i'm actually going to insert some um you probably won't see it well you probably will see it but i haven't actually inserted it obviously because i'm um i'm capturing this now but uh some hints um are for big air well, Big Air Stadium Kicker is, it's its pretty much a basic jump, it's pretty easy, it's not very tricky, it's short and sweet. All you do is for three seconds you launch a jump and um, do a trick, meaning you use the um, shoulder butt. So, this is to tell you how everybody else did, and probably with Jin, I'm probably going to miss if I do a spin, so I'm just going to probably do um, grabs. See, he did good on the jump. I don't know where this puts him in. Okay, it just shows you the ranking, and your ranking is very important. You have to do well on tricks if you hope to succeed um, in the second stage, and I'll show you why in a second, but I'm just going to have him do a trick. So yeah, it's advised with Jin, you don't really want to do spin jumps, but I'm going to see if I can get in mess up here, not on purpose, but to show you what happens if you screw up. So yeah, he screwed up a trick, and yeah, he only got 100 points. So yeah, the reason I said it was important is because whatever place you're in depends how far you are from the leader. So Kelly gets to start first, then Yagi, then Boss, then Iron and Cindy, then me, and then Nick and Gigi. So yeah, we have to wait 13 seconds after Kelly moves to make our move. Okay, so here's the second stage. Border Cross is just you racing. Um, to get to the finish line and White Resort there's some things um, I have to say about White Resort because I decided to add facts about this game um, well White Resort is a straightforward course it's a it's a beginner course and 90% of it is easy like you don't even have to worry about holding the um, square button there are two corners though or three if you want to count it three where you have to hold the um, square button or at least hold it for a second while moving in order to um, successfully maneuver them but other than that it's a relatively easy board you don't really have to worry about anything so let's get started shall we okay so I'll try to put some of the things I showed you in the practice um okay see I'm tucking now he went like 10 miles per hour faster because usually with this kind of snow he goes only 71 because of his good max speed he automatically goes 81 if you tuck down but you can't tuck down during corners you actually have to let go so like if there's a curve up ahead you can't just hold the tuck button and hope to go fast and Jin's actually the fastest boarder in the game in competition mode well at least when you're playing when you're not playing him he is as a computer, Jin is a monster. Like, you really have to make sure you don't drop your guard, because if you do, that's it. You're going to lose places, and depending on how you do, you could lose the game. And I did forget to mention, but when you're in the, in the town back there, that was the hard corner where you have to have the square. I'm sorry, I was focusing. This is the other corner. You want to hold the square button at least a little bit while you're turning. Otherwise, you will crash into that wall and you will lose precious time, and you could lose your place. So it's not that hard. You don't even, like I said, for 90% of the course, you don't even have to do anything. Really, all you do is just maneuver the best you can. That's all you have to do. And there's the finish. Skippy, I won. Okay. Oh, I should explain that line also. Um, that line represents um, like your standing, like as far as computer um competition, like clear competition points. Excuse me. If you're below that line, when the race ends, it's automatic game over, and you do not want a game over. And I'll explain why. Probably not this video, but the next video. how I am for time okay okay 
And there's also options for next round or gear select. If you want to select new gear or whatever, each course is different, so you might want to do that. If not, just push next round. Okay, I already told you about Stadium Kicker. It's pretty simple, just a straight jump, no tricks. Oh wow, I ranked first. I didn't expect that. Okay, as far as doing tricks, if you want to do a backflip, all you have to do is hold down or up while you're jumping. And you want to jump right before you, um, that was kind of crappy, but you want to jump right before you go off the platform. If you do not, you will fail. And that goes the same thing for whether you're doing a spin or you're doing a trick. You want to let go of the X button first and then do your jump. Don't, you know, don't do the buttons first and then jump because you'll mess up. And I'm surprised to see Boss miss because he is the best, he's like the best character in any mode. See him mess up is kind of surprising, but it's good for me. And you probably know by now how annoying the announcer is. Yeah, I was making fun of him in the first video because... Because, well, everybody complains this game. Oh, the announcer's annoying. He makes fun of you when you mess up. And he really does. I just haven't messed up yet. But when I mess up, he will be there to make fun of you. <sighs> I swear, sometimes the announcer sounds like he's on something. But yeah. I also probably should explain to you the boards if you don't know them. Um, and when I say boards, I don't mean like the levels. Those, those I call courses. But as far as Sunset Downhill, and I know I didn't explain this, but you want to stay to the left. Like after this checkpoint, this first checkpoint, you want to stay to the left. You want to pay attention. And there are sharp corners like this one, but you want to stay to the left. Trust me, stay to the left you won't have any problems see you want to stay left because you don't want to get hit by that and you don't want to get hit by those logs that's what I mean watch out for logs pay attention and stay to the left and um this is the second checkpoint so you definitely want to stay to the left and I'm going to show you right why excuse me right here because there is a giant cliff those signs over there they aren't for show and I don't like Kelly because she's a sabotaging girl who likes to bump you But yeah, you want to stay to the left at all times. I know I've said that three or four times, and you're like, I wish you'd shut up, Beast of Mine. Well, I'm just letting you know. And from here on out, I mean, it's smooth sailing. I mean, you don't have a problem in the world. And I probably will split this up into two different videos. I did not want to for a specific reason, but since I'm explaining things, I have no problem with that. And that's it. I hope my tricks and hints are helping you. Because I'm not just um, doing this, you know, just to make, you know, I'm not just doing this. Just say, oh, I know how to play the game. Let me show you how to do this. I want you to actually both visually and read what I'm saying. Because this game will make you, like, it will make you crazy if you don't. And I will be back for the next part.